Welcome to the homework. This is lesson seven, grade two, module three. Write your name here. These are, we have the bundles. They're back. Like an old friend that you haven't seen in a while. They're here again. There are bundles of hundreds, tens, and ones, right? And these big bundles here, those are the hundreds. And these skinny bundles here, these are tens, and these are just single craft sticks, right? These are just the single ones. Hundreds, tens, and ones. So there's all the reminders. Uh, write the standard form, which is just a plain number, expanded form, which is an equation, and word form, which is all words for each number shown. Now, once I give you an example of the first one, you'll know You'll be reminded of what standard form, expanded form, and word form are. And it, then after you've seen that, try the rest of them. Try the second one all by yourself and see if you can see how you do on it. So standard form for this. All right, we need to know what do we have for hundreds, tens, and ones. And we really number bond or HTO chart is a great help here. How many hundreds? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven hundreds. How many tens? One, two, three, four tens, and one one. That's our number. So, if, or if we're looking at in a number bond, you can do the number bond backwards. Seven hundred forty, and just a one, and then figure out what the number is and do it like that. So standard form is just, that's it. Expanded form, now we're going to add the parts of the number bond together. And then word form, we need just, if you read this out loud, you would say 741. So I'm going to write that out all in words. All in words. Seven hundred forty one. Just like that. And here, if you don't remember how to spell hundreds, it's right up here. Tens and ones, usually, everybody can remember those. But they're there in case you can't. All right, so now try this one on your own. Pause it. And uh, we'll see that there's a little bit tricky here. They put the tens first, right? One, two, three, four, five, six tens. which is 60, and then hundreds, one, two, three, four, five hundreds. That's 560. Standard form, expanded form, and the word form, 560. Five hundred sixty. It's hard in word form. One of the things that makes it hard is that you're thinking the number in your head, and sometimes you just write down the number when you're thinking of it, and you you don't even realize you've written the numerals instead of the words for it. So that can that can be tricky. But just just do a quick little check afterwards to make sure that whenever you do word form. You don't have any numbers in your words. Or you don't have any numerals in your words. And here's our last page. What's the unit value of the 3 in 432? So we don't need to know. Usually we've been asked this question, like, what is the value of the 3? The value of the 3 would be 30, right? But what's the unit value of the 3? It's the same thing. It's 30. What's the unit value of the 6 in 216? It's just 6. What's the value of it? It's in the 1's place, so it's just a 6. Sometimes a 6 is just a 6. Uh, 
write 212, 221, and 122 in order from greatest to least. So greatest goes here, and least is here. Least is the smallest, greatest is the biggest. So we're looking for the, let's look for the smallest number first, and we'll do it backwards. These both start with two hundreds, and this one only has one hundred, so it has to be the smallest. There's the 122. And now the 212 and the 221, they have the same hundreds digit, but now we're looking at, if we just look at this one, we have 12, and this one has 21. 21 is bigger, so it's 221 and 200. 12 is in the middle.